up and how she moves on. It's just really well written and really, it's really well written. I can't describe it. It's got, it's just really well written, very raw, very personal. I really like that in a book. I think it's very important for writers to be very true to who they are, even if that's not always who, what they want to be. Like even if they might be ashamed of things they've done. Or even if, I don't know, I just, I really like the tone of this. It's very honest and that's very important to me. And it's just really, really good. She knows how to write. And you understand her character so much and her character kind of goes for a roller coaster. You get to know her, but she's changing so much as she's dealing with all these different things. Yeah, it's just really good. And the last book, also by Laura Jane Williams, is Ice Cream for Breakfast. Now this book is about how after publishing the book, which I just spoke about, Laura um, went, through, went through a bad patch as she was diagnosed with depression. And I guess because her dreams had come true, she... Because her, because her dreams had come true, she was kind of at her what next stage in Becoming. She talks a lot about becoming an author and writing that book there. So this book is kind of after she's written that she, and she doesn't know what to do. And then she signs up to be a nanny with not really any real reason why. And it's about the things she learns from the children she nannies. And there's some very good life advice in this and it's very digestible and it's very relatable and the advice is just good and I work with children so I can see like some of the stuff she says you can learn from children I'm always like oh my god why didn't I think of that because it's really like children are kind of lovely and kind of I think sometimes being adults we get a bit carried away with being a grown-up when sometimes it's nice to just embrace your inner child and be childlike not childish but childlike I feel like every book description I just gave was terrible. My tongue was all tangled and I couldn't think of words. <laughs> so I apologise if none of that made sense. However, a lot of them do have full blog posts on. Um, so I will link any below in the description box. Um, yeah. And I am also going to write a full blog post on this because I'm not sure how coherent this video is, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I'd love to hear some of your favourite books of 2017. I had quite a range. Um, so, yeah, I would like to hear what some of yours are. And I might add them to my 2018 reading list. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are all... I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did and I will see you very soon. Bye.